Welcome to Ask Southern. My name is Aaron Myers. I'm the production manager at Southern's Manufacturing Hub in Kinston, North Carolina. I lead our production team. The purpose of these Ask Southern informational videos is to show you some of the installation techniques that I use. Uh, there may be several different ways that you install Southern's products and if after seeing this video uh, you have any comments or questions uh, or you would like to share your favorite methods, uh, we would love to hear from you. Uh, our contact information should be at the bottom of the screen. And now, here's today's Ask Southern topic. Today we're going to talk about stair rail. Uh, we're going to show you how I like to install a stair rail system. We're going to show you some neat, interesting things about the angles of steps in, in relation to the pickets in a step rail. Um, I'm also going to show you how to find the angle of your stairs prior to ordering your stair rail. Well, what we have here is uh, this is a staircase we have on our on our production shop floor. Uh, we had some vinyl port trail up here. We removed it so that we could use this area to show you how to install a port trail system. Um, let's talk about trying to find this angle. Uh, one quick way that I like to do it uh, is take a straight edge and lay it on your treads and you can take a square with a level and rest it on your straight edge and then when you stand your square up we adjust our square until we get we get it level and then we read the measurement against the edge of the straight edge here we have 34 degrees we created this uh, porcupine template here to demonstrate how the pickets react in the in the holes that we route in the stair rails for you. Um, this particular picket in this size hole uh, is our standard picket in our step rail. This is a 35 degree uh, slope right here um, because we had 34 degrees on our stairs. This is this is the stair kit that we want to we want to use for our application. Starting here at the end, we have. Uh, we have a, a standard square hole. This is the hole that we use in our port trail kits. Um, this is a zero degree, uh, and it can actually rack slightly up to about a 10 degree uh, angle. This is, a, this is the size hole that you would use for port trail and uh, accessibility ramps that requires about a 112 pitch. This next hole is an eighth larger, which when you rack it and hold your picket plumb, can rack another 10 to 15 degrees. In our next hole, you can see as the hole gets larger, we're able to tilt our rail up further, creating more of a slope. We're back to our standard 35 degree port trail hole. And then if you get in a very steep slope situation, we can continue to route the holes larger to accommodate that steep slope. This last hole that we have here um, is approximately 5 eighths of an inch larger than our standard hole. It'll accommodate up to a 45 degree uh, slope on a set of stairs. When you order a stair rail kit from Southern, you'll be provided a standard kit uh, with a standard hole. This is our 35 degree slope. Now, of course, um, the standard route will accommodate a more shallow slope. Um, sometimes you'll have an untypical application where either your steps are steeper or shallower. Um, we can accommodate that, uh, providing you uh, you give us a slope or a rise and run, and we can adjust the hole size for you at no additional cost. Now that we have our angle, and we've ordered our kit, we have it right here, right? So we're going to go ahead and install this thing. Uh, Again, like the port trail, it's a one-person job, 10 to 15 minutes, minimal tools, drill with a Phillips bit, uh, level to ensure your pickets are plumb, trusty tape measure, pencil to mark, and of course a saw to cut the material. You can use one of a variety of saws to cut this material from hack saws to reciprocating saws to electric miter box saws. So electric miter box saws, my preferred method, uh, and you can cut right through the aluminum top rail insert with the with the electric miter saw as well. What we have here is our T-rail. 
uh, stair kit. It's 36 inches high by 96 inches wide. And just like the port trail, I can tell from a glance that this is a stair rail uh, because this is a gold colored label. If it were a port trail, it would have a white label. Um, and it's just a great identifier. Um, so you know which kits are porch, which kits are stair. We're going to open up our kit here. Um, and if you, were to, if you were to have seen our port trail video, you would, uh, you would know that I know exactly what end to get our brackets out of uh, based on the orientation of the logo on the box. Um, so I encourage you to go look at that for some tips. We're going to, just like the port trail, we know our brackets are in this end. Our instructions are in this end. Um, and in the port trail kit, we would have our foot blocks also down here with a stair rail kit. There are no foot blocks. The instructions, which come with both porch and stair kits, you can find on our online website uh, in a PDF printable file uh, if you'd like to go and view these. 